show you. It is 20 to 2. Um, and we're done. <laughs> that's, a plum, that's a plum one, that. Oh, look, look, look above it. Yeah. Look at that. How'd you get up there? With help. How'd you get up there? With help. <laughs> <laughs> so day two is going to be this lintel, and there's not a lot wrong with it, is it? The lintel's fine. It's just very poor craftsmanship, isn't it? Yeah. Which is usually the case. So we're just going to swap it out for a concrete lintel, put a new cavity tray in above it, usual song and dance with the concrete. Just tell them that looks like it's rusty. But that's to help. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you a close-up in a minute, but that looks like it's been lifted because it's rusted. It's not. It's th they've set that in diagonally for some reason. Um, but yeah, uh, Dad's going to get these courses knocked out. We'll get the Acro set up. We've actually thought ahead for once. and moved the big lintel onto the scaffold now because the way the um, Acros are going to be, this plank's going to have to come out. So I wouldn't have liked to get a three-meter lintel, walked it around try and feed it up there, just pick it up and pop it on, makes for, makes for an easier job. Well, I'll pass it to Dad so we can start working his magic and I'll just start um, gathering some more stuff up, getting the mix ready and we'll, I'll, I'll send you over. Welcome back. Ten past nine. Okay. Ten past nine, we're cracking on here. Not bad. Um, as you can see, the lintel's not very big. Not really fit for purpose, so we're going to change that. And I don't know why they put on a massive bed. It's beyond me now. But um, so far, so good. We've got a crack all the way along here. That's where the cavity tray is. It's like see how much the overhang is on the bricks. It's like the bricks, if you can see how wonky they are. But they're, all, they're all tipping because the lintel's set so far back. Obviously it's not big enough that. So our plan is just take these two out up to there where it's cracked anyway. Slide the lintel out and slide that rascal in. I say, I say we, um, Ollie and Alex, because um, I, can't, I can't lift that. I'll be in the middle trying my best to help. 
yeah that's the plan we're putting our first acro in now but this bit work it's, just, it's, a, it's absolutely solid there's no cracks in it no movement it's, it's tough mortar so the, the bricks aren't going to drop we could seriously take that whole lot out of the sports itself because it's that, that strong but as always we put the acro in just, just nice and because we love working around acros don't we now? we love working around acros don't we Al we love working around acros so we're going to take this throw bolt out it's got the the uh, strong version so yeah and um, it's exactly 150c on each end so we'll that way straight out there and slot the thing in pack it all up with a slate Bob's your uncle the, the trays the, tray, the original trays in it's in perfect condition it's never leaked so there's no point ripping that out to put another one in when it's doing its job uh, it's going to be rendered so there won't be any weave holes so we'll be doing like uh, tray, trays used to do where the, tray, the, the idea of water would hit the tray and run off the ends into the cavity same that end down into the cavity and down below ground uh, when it does go down there there's a big, big drop in the cavity to the floor so um, I still don't know what people think about weave vents in, in render sometimes you see it most of the time you don't Obviously, if, the plate, if it's rendered, there's no water getting in because it's sealed by the render. Drop us a comment what you think about wheat vents in render. Whether you think they should be there, whether you think they shouldn't be there, if they look stupid, if you don't bother, let me know. So, uh, let's get this first one in. And then, Darren, who's, Darren, who's um, our customer's father in law, um, I met him yesterday, he's, he's a subscriber, and he saw the van. As he pulled up and said, oh, Stephen Alex must be working around here, I wonder where they're working. And it, we, were, we were working on his son, son-in-law's job, so he's, uh, he's just rung up his bringers and mackies. So in return, I'm going to give him a, a nice brick lane with Alex cup. So um, yeah, let's get this acro in and we'll get a few more brick out before the mackies are.
Do you know how long you're going to be, roughly? So we can. Uh, once I've got a couple of bits of water each end, it's safe. Right. You can put it away. So. We can then um, get the rest of it off the stack. We can go and get some dinner, see? No. Alright, you get your dinner then, we'll get it done by the time you get back. Right, okay. And we'll get everything out of your way. Right, so. You ready then, Dan? Can't go anywhere now.
be shaving your head. Who <laughs> should watch that? Yeah, sure. This is improperly, I just wish I could show you properly how awful this brickwork actually is. It bows out and it bellies out. So you can kind of see it here, look, there's a bit of a... Uh... Hang on. Ah, that's a good idea. Get a level. <laughs> that's some bad ones. That's, that's a plum one, there. Oh. brickwork above it. Yeah. There we go, wrinkles in. And I'll tell you what, that was a bit of a, a brush job then because the the window and the bifold door installers are here. And we were having our break when they turned up, so thankfully this was practically done. We've had to get them bricks gone. But then, obviously this is why we haven't had time to explain it because it was all hands on deck. Then we had to get the steel lintel out, which was stuck, stuck to a uh, trim on the back. So all of us were in there trying to get that out. And then, the lintel didn't want to go in. Yeah, the lintel didn't want to go in. It kept like trying to flip itself it was in. Going to such a small pocket. Yeah. We used a bigger hole, so we've got the tray to do, but the tray is all still intact, so we're not touching that. Yeah. See, so the tray's in. But the lintel's in now. They, I'll show you in a minute. They've got the window in while they've been waiting for us. It's how quick they are. Yeah. But this is ready for them to get that in now. So, what's our next step? Drop this, tidy up, and then I don't really want to start that yet because we, we need well, a full day edit, don't yeah, we? Yeah, I don't want to be working late to do it, so. We'll just tidy up, get set up, part of the van up, what we, don't, what we don't need. Basically, all the scaffolds and all the chest uh, echoes and so on, which can go back home. Yeah, because the lintel's installed there and the lintel's in fine enough condition, just going to leave it, aren't they? And yeah. the, the fascia board that's in the way, it's. Um, the flat roof's attached to it, the yeah. flat's on it, it's been foamed in, basically, it's, it's, uh, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So but it's just great more yeah. of a mess. The lintel's in fine condition, though, it's just, there's a bit of surface rust, but that's. That's nothing you can't just scrub out. And it's going to get wet, so it's never, yeah. never going to get wet again. That's why there's no. Um, that's why we've got a concrete and uh, no vents because it's all rendered, which waterproofs it anyway. So yeah, there we go. We'll um, get this out of, out of the way for the for the bifold installers, and we'll get cracking. Well, we're in the van after like how long has it been? Like, probably like an hour since we've been. It's, um, it's probably about half twelve. When you got in the van. Well, yeah, when I got in the van, he was too busy gabbing, but um, to show you, it is 20 to 2. Um, and we're done. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Feeling a bit giddy. I was dreading today. It makes you realise that when you put in the right situation, you can do a job bloody quick, can't you? Yeah. We, we, we were dreading it this morning because it's a massive three metre lintel. And, buddy, let me see. 
and um, I've lost trail of thought now. Yeah, um, getting the lintel in. We were we were lucky that the bricks were covered the way they were. Then we were worried about the steel being stuck on, and then the bifold door people came, like I mentioned, and it was like oh, all hands on the pump. Yeah. <laughs> it was a mix up in when who, who was coming when. Yeah, and uh, so I got a got a hand mix done. And we oh, did the rest of the brick out. Yeah. And we, we had a trusty Milwaukee breaker, which is absolutely fantastic. We were like a uh, we were like a swarm of ants, just yeah. working. I said that I've never seen I've never seen this many people at work since we worked on site. Yeah. And there was Ollie and his father in law Darren, our subscriber, who gave a cup to. Me and Alex and then three of the other lads, so there's and and his brother. So and is that three, six, eight of us? Yeah. Yeah. And a side note as well, very side note, um, they got us a McDonald's breakfast too, so we're, yeah. we're very thankful. Yeah, that one on Instagram, that. That was a... Uh, What's your name, Muffin? That was delicious. <laughs> but yeah, um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're just a bit taken aback that we've got a three meter. Wonder what's going to go wrong, because we're not used to things, Just everything just fell into place. Plus, Ollie's he's handy, so he's, he's got the week off, so he's doing stuff, he's working ahead of us, he's knocking plaster off, he's like, he'll just get the lintel out the back, he, he's... He's making our like life a lot easier by helping us out. Hell, um, he's got the wind. The wind is going to be ready for us to just start block laying tomorrow. Yeah, he's taking out the stuff. All the all the tiles, all the tiles are taken out. So the window is going to be out today. We we just show up and start block laying tomorrow. It's going to make a world of difference. Yeah. But yeah, so that was a nice happy little. It's, it's kind of like in the moment I didn't realize what was happening, and then when I just saw the time, I thought, oh my god, it's done. We've got a three meter lintel in. Yeah. What happened? The, and then, and then the other day we were buddy just doing a little lintel and some soldier brick. It took us till seven o'clock. Yeah. Because that was just, that was just, I can't describe how badly that was built. Well, you know it was badly built if it took us that long to fix it. Yeah. But if yes. anyone else asked me to do that job again, I'd say leave it in. It's yeah. Not worth, it's not worth taking it out. But yeah. So we'll catch you for the uh, finale tomorrow. We've, we've, we've just priced a job. We're gonna go drop a, uh, a gift off for Louis. For Louis. And drop a little off at her to know. So uh, see you tomorrow.